real. But we have a lot of interpretations within the Christian church. And a lot of them are, are very good, that's for sure. But I, they're not all correct. And that, that's one of the big things for me on the um, high and conservative end of the spectrum within the Christian church is that, you know, these interpretations, well, and actually a prime example, right quick, was uh, I watched a video of Ken Ham and he was talking about how people like Francis Collins, who is a head of the Genome Project, um, he's a brilliant scientist uh, on DNA and um, he, he, along with somebody else, I can't remember exactly who it was, we're talking about creation, evolution, and how they actually go together and all these different things. And he was condemning them as well as people like William Lane Craig and Frank Turek and all these Christian apologists because they accept evolution and that contradicts the word of God and that they're going outside the Bible to find their information. That is an extreme form of traditionalism. And it can make one so stagnant to where, you know, whenever you say you're going outside the Bible, to find information. Well, what do you mean by that exactly? We need to be integrating everything. You know, it's the Bible is not the only thing that we have as a resource. Even God states that, that the things of God are those which encompass the whole of reality. That's one part. And it's an important part for sure. But we need to be taking things from outside that found within science and stuff. And then correlating because science, the study of science is the study of the workings of the universe. Now, there can be dogmatic types, like those who kind of have a scientist, follow scientism, you know, that that adhere solely to science, and, and they're wrong, and they're traditionalists in their own uh, uh, own ways, you know. But we need to be integrating, and the work that I've done over the years, that I've been doing for the past 10, 15, really about 15 or so years, is trying to understand, because I've always appreciated science, I've always liked learning about physics and different things of that nature. And I was like, man, maybe they go together, you know, and as I kept delving into it, I found that, that they were complementing each other on so many different levels. I was like, wow, this isn't, this is quite interesting. But if God created everything and the workings of the universe, of course, that's going to correlate with the Bible. And so we need to be bringing that in. Otherwise we come too stagnant. And so, um, you know, and if you're going to take it those extremes, then you might as well take it, to his fullest extent, the technology that Ken Ham was using to produce this video, he shouldn't even be using that because it's outside the Bible. That's technology, that's progress that was constructed by people that were doing things outside the Bible. Technology that, that you know, was formulated that had nothing to do with Christianity whatsoever for the most part. It's like, then he should not be using that. It's like to sit there and say that you're going to condemn people for trying to integrate knowledge of the working universe into the Bible. And then, you know, yet using technology that was done from people within that very same field is contradictory. It's like, that doesn't make any sense at all. That's, it's, it's, for me, it's just crazy. I'm like, okay. And so to state that, you know, what he's talking about, is not, oh, well, they're going outside the Bible. What he, uh, what he's meaning is that it contradicts his personal interpretation of scripture. That's what he means. Not that it contradicts the Bible, it contradicts the interpretation thereof. And these are traditions. And this is what Christ was going against in his day. And so that's my thing is that Christ was going, we're dealing with a lot of the same thing, whether it be on the you know conservative side or the progressive side. It's like, you guys are, are correct, but wrong at the same time. And I'm not saying I'm correct. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying we need to be working together to figure this out and progress and progress as a community together, trying to figure and fit all this together. And uh, I would say people like William Lane Craig and Frank Turek and uh, Francis Collin are true progressives of our day. They actually take true factual knowledge that we have from the workings of, of science and integrate it with the Bible. That's true progress.